It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Houston Texans and the Green Bay Packers. And it's coming up next. It's a venue in a city that's seen more NFL history than just about anyone else. Welcome to Lambeau Field in the heart of Green Bay. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, and maybe six points too. Well, we waited on Jordan Love. He got to watch one of the greats do it in Aaron Rodgers, and it wasn't until last year they finally gave him the keys. Well, and the wait was worth it. He put on a show a season ago. 32 touchdowns, just 11 interceptions in a year that nobody anticipated the Packers, and so many of their young players could grow and emerge into a playoff team. They did just that. Nobody questioned Jordan Love's physical traits. It was the accuracy. It was the anticipation. It was the nuance to play in the position. He answered all of those and more with the breakout season a year ago. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Play fake. It's Love. Jacobs. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Love out of the shotgun. The Texans close it in and they will get him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Every defense in this league is going to sign up for a three and out to begin a ball game. But to send him off the field, to really add that extra tone setter by backing him up with a sack, well, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So now it's the Texans' turn to take the field for the first time. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. CJ may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It would be must see TV. This round's rolling here on first. That's complete to Diggs on the slant. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They gain 14 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Well, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Running for the first time with Joe Nixon. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. 
Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instinct come to life. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Keeping it with Mixon. He still has room inside the 30. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. epitome of staying on schedule that kind of completion right there on first down well it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down and the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot it's mixed in on second down and he'll get this across touchdown houston the texans get a perfect start they've gone up 6-0 it's a joe mixon touchdown for the offense, you gotta love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get it out of the way, big time. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. One splits the uprights and they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Love from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short on the 35. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Shotgun now for Love. Complete had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Love. Jaden Reed, the intended target. And that leaves them with fourth and five. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch was almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. Gives him a chance to do a little jawing after the play. Let that other guy know he just roughed him up and lost a big catch. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it's going to be Texans football.
Grimes starts out with a first and ten. They'll begin with a run by Mixon. And they get him down after a solid gain up to the 31. He made him six on the play, bringing up second and four. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. I mean, offense is love. Execution plays like that on first down, Kate. Because now, that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. It's a gain of four there. And it sets up a Houston first. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. First down, Stroud. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down. He just couldn't make the connection. That's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage waiting for it. They were thinking interception for a second. The incompletion is still pretty good, too. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Stroud from the pistol. He'll get this one to Brooks. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, even a drop would have been better than that, frankly. Couldn't find a way back to the line of scrimmage, and it's a rare pass that actually loses yardage. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Down with the ground. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. Same as a touchback here. Fair catch made at the 20. So no return on that punt. And the Packers will take over possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Love now. That's reeled in by Jaden Reed. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Takes the handoff, now low. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing now from the gun. with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Here's first and ten from the 34. Throwing now off play action. This is all it targets of Christian Watson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Throwing deep for the end zone. Watson with the touchdown. All right, 
partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happened. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stays. PAT effort coming up. And the kick is good. Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Damian Pierce now to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now after that return, we've got an injured player getting some assistance as we momentarily step aside. First and ten. Throwing his ground. Making slant now complete. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept to get in those yards, well, he translates now as a receiver in the open field. Second and three. Digs there to bring it in. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Here's Stroud. That's a catch for Nico Collins. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts. But throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. On play action, here's Stroud. To the left sideline, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. They have themselves another first and ten. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And he pushes it further into the red zone, down inside the 15. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. You know, Kay, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a one play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will and you set yourself up for some later success. He brings it in. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. 
You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the gun, Stroud. Has it in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. All I could tell him there was good luck. <laughs> you get a safety all over a run like that, they could just smell it like a shot with blood in the water. And you feel fortunate if you're even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So now, here's third and goal. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. Welcome back. Time for our second quarter. The Texans with a chance to score. Now Stroud on third and goal. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans take a second quarter lead. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, that's so just a difference-making receiver, King. Yep. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Fielded at the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Packers and receiver Christian Watson ready to go once again. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you've got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch your breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. They're out and set, first and ten. Play fake, it's love. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. Looking for Christian Watson that time. So that brings up second down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call, I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Second and ten. Love trying again. Gets this one to Watson. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down, Packers. You know, they really love that driver because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Here's Josh Jacobs getting his first look on the ground. Big game, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. 
You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision in extra yards. On first and ten, here's Love. Catch is made down the right sideline. And he's a yard over two shy of the 30 before going out. He picks up 15 on the play. And it'll be first down, Packers. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Running on first here with Jacobs. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. From the 29. That's into the hands of Dobbs. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Textbook hitch route. <laughs> Sit him in the short field and deliver it once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play, but a reliable source of yardage. All plays on the table here for third and three. Off the play fake, he'll throw. Really fired that one, but they couldn't connect. You know, third and short is a difficult one to call. Do you want to run into the teeth of a defense and looking for that handoff? Or try to throw it to him and use the element of surprise? Evidently, well, that's one they should have run instead. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on fourth. You know, these fourth down plays are all about trust. You lean into what you do best. Unfortunately, with the lack of execution, you're going to throw that one off the playlist. The Texans and running back Joe Mixon headed out for their next series. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. ready to begin this drive first and ten again to mix in up the middle and he's bottled up quick this just crosses the 25 to about the 27 he gets a couple on first and they'll come up second and eight First down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Let's a heater guilty. Texans take a 13-point lead. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. and you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find Pater. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. This return makes it up to the 25. The Packers all set to get back out there. They liked how that drive was going, but the ND and the turnover on downs, yeah, that's something they'll try to rewrite on this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Quick throw, right side, complete to start this drive. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Now to throw. Cut by Jacobs. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the middle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. He's got Watson, and he's brought down after a short game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Picks the handoff, now low. And he won't escape this. The Texans take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Knowing how our wonderful EA Sports team and director does his job, we're going to see a replay real quick here, Kate. And I want to see that moment of truth, that panic in the QB's eyes. You run that bootleg, you're out there alone. You got to make something happen, or you could take a risk like that. A huge sack for this defense. And the Texans go in nickel coverage, third down. Shotgun now for Love. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Okay, it's pretty clear, isn't it? It's this constant pressure that this defense has imposed on this offense to keep them out of rhythm and build up this lead. This offense is not going to author a comeback if this quarterback continues to run for his life. Daniel Whelan on the punt. And they could really use a good one here. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And he'll take in the fair catch just above the 35. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they're going to take over possession. The Texans set up nicely as they come up to the line, first and ten. First play of the drive, and he takes an option left. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Shotgun now for Stroud. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So now it's second and long. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. 
It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. On the option, here's Mixon. Duke the defender. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Offense to the line for second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And he drives this forward to the 26-yard line. Gets him five on the carry, but still a mile away on third and very long. from the gun. It's Stroud. Best caught by Mixon. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. So it'll be Tommy Townsend once again to punt this away. He calls for the fair catch and has it at the 22-yard line. No return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Love from the gun. He throws it deep to the left side. And he makes the catch. And this is going to be a great big touchdown. The Packers make it a one-score game in the first half. Christian Watson with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, great work there, Rock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Now the PAT try coming up. And he sends the point after right through the uprights. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's Steven Sims with the return. He stopped on the return at the 27th. The Texans back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. start out with a first and ten. Back to throw, Stroud. And he can't escape the Packers drop in. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. This offense has been in a rhythm. Settled in and found it in the first half. But hopefully that sack for this defense can disrupt that rhythm just a little bit. Kind of reminds me, Kate, in baseball, when you're facing an elite pitcher, just get somebody on base. Just make that pitcher think a little bit. Hopefully that sack for this defense does the same to the QB. Back 
to the line they go. It's second down. Running with Mixon out of the gun. Takes out a one stop. The game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Throwing his crowd. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets up to the 14-yard line before he stopped. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. And there's their consistent source of positive yardage. The trusty tight end. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Backfield is empty as they motion him outright. He's got him. Let's mix in. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. The Packers take their first time out. And they'll have two left to work with here in the first half. The Texans set to punt. And after that drive, went backwards. He's going to send this one forward. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Return starts from the 45. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Love out of the shotgun. He's on the move. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. To the left side, and it is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And it'll be first down, Packers. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you got to earn your place there. The easy way to do it? Catches just like that, going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. Thrown on first down, low. Complete on a slant to Watson. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Now time now taken by Green Bay. That's it, second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here's Love to throw. And that one's incomplete, but boy, are they lucky it wasn't intercepted. That was a risky shot, but fortunately, they still have second down coming up. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. Loves to throw again. Has it in close. And this is going to be a Green Bay touchdown. The Packers earn the chance to tie before halftime. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scorers than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm -hmm. with. Right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they can be a difference maker, he'll look for them. Now they'll try the point after. And 
He puts it through. We are all tied up again. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Texans and C.J. Stroud all set to go for their next drive. Set, first and ten. From the gun, Stroud. Rolling left, binds him. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. The okay. <laughs> quarterback's a demanding position because not only do you have to have a clock in your head, but you've got to have a spatial awareness of where you are in the field. And once you start retreating, going backward and backward and backward, you got to just sling the ball in the stands. Otherwise, well, you take a huge negative sack like that. Looking to throw. And that's nearly intercepted, but couldn't hang on. Just a harmless incompletion. It's third down. We have reached halftime. Already full game's worth of excitement in just two quarters. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back to the start of our third quarter. The first half controlled by the offenses, Brock. Let's see if the defenses can take over in the second half. We're underway. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Running it with Mixon. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go, or was he provoked? So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and, well, they got one of them to move that time. All right, here we go, second down. Looking to throw, Stroud. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. You can sure you get out of size. Anytime he's in the slot, you got to assume the ball's going his way. 
All plays on the table here for third and three. And this is Mixon. Escapes a defender. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. That one gains seven. And it sets up a Houston first. You love a huddle? Can't you really do? You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, and he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Finding Collins. And he's going to go down right along midfield strike. It's a pickup of 11. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum to keep that defense on its heels. They are now set for first and 10. carry this is Mixon and the defense gets there to force a small loss that's got to be so frustrating for the runner you're fighting the good fight he even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat but the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage offense to the line for second down Stroud from the pistol in the shallow throw and he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory I think the defense is still turned around looking for where the ball is is that QB and tight ends they got that ball out in a hurry let's see what they draw on a third and seven out of the gun he'll look to throw Protection is always tested against the blitz, especially in all the different ways the defenses today disguise them. Couldn't quite account for the number of rushers that time, but it ends just how you expect. The quarterback need a little help to get picked up off the grass. Punt team on the field. Tommy Townsend will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Play fake, it's love. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Here's love. Watson with the catch. And that will not be enough for a first down. Third and a lone yard coming up. Watson quick pass wide. Oh man, these are the kind of plays you can't wait to get on film and watch the next day. Look at the fellow pass catchers. Look at the guys getting out in front, helping on that screen pass. Get your player in space, your buddies do the rest around you, and a big play follows. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Jacobs running behind center. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. To 
the air with love. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he made a bit from midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. From the gun, it's a gift to Jacobs. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Hey, Kate, sorting through traffic, seeking out a runner, that is this guy's domain. And boy, does he know how to operate in it. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They stick with Jacobs. And he'll get this through midfield and start pushing into Texans territory. At seven yards on the run, still six to go on third. Throwing low. It's cut right side by Watson. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll be first down, Packers. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. First down, ball at the 36. Shotgun now for Lowe. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. the handoff. Here's Jacobs. And he's tackled for no gain. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Love now. He's got it over the middle. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. You want to become quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. The drive picks up here, first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. So it's second down coming up. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. A second down throw here for Love. And he's got Watson. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. All plays on the table here for third and three. A tight end in motion now. Turning to Jacobs on third. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. The Packers sending out their special teamers. Field goal coming. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. The 
Acker is about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He's stopped on the return at the 27. The visitors, and this running back, headed back out for a new series. some small yards on the throw. Quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And with the big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. First and ten are on the mix it. And he powers through the middle for a gate of four. Second and six coming up here. So we hit the end of the third quarter. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. Second and six coming up here. I think that was a throw kick that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure a bullet. No connection on the last play, and on third down. To the air, Stroud. He's got it, room to run. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Those are the short throws. They are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. Throwing his crowd. He connects downfield on four. And he does quite a bit of damage before they fight take him down so many cool fundamentals on display right there Kate look the ball into your hands number one don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you and then when you've got that catch secured snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play this offense in position now it's first and goal They're going to run here. It's Mixon. And he'll pull his way in for a four-yard pickup. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. This is why it's so important not to overcommit to the team's lead runner. It went to a secondary ball carrier and they put him down for a big red zone stop. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Here's Stroud. 
he didn't make it how they wanted it, but he throws this away. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Amy Fairbairn on now as we see how he handles this moment. Angling this one in for the right hash to challenge here. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And in the fourth quarter, that's going to tie the game! After I'd imagine dozens and dozens of kicks into that net on the sideline staying warm, Kate, he finally gets his chance to knock the field goal through the uprights. And of course, he wasn't going to whiff on that opportunity. First and ten from the 34. Here's Love to throw. Down the middle, complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. And it's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And that's incomplete. Wanted to dial up the aggressiveness there like that, but couldn't connect. Second down. That's a very quick trigger, and the hurry throw was much tougher to complete. He may have rushed that one thinking the pressure was just about to get to him in the pocket. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you got. Complete beyond. Gains 15 and it moves the sticks. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and 10. Love from the gun. Well, this has definitely been a tight one throughout, Brock. So now that they've taken the lead, the question becomes, can they hold on to it? And that question right there is one the defense has to answer. But this sure had the look of a drive where a coaching staff challenged that offense, saying, hey, we need a big drive from you guys right here. And sure enough, that offense delivers. Yeah, no doubt. Kicking team out to try the extra points. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. 
returning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. Still time to go, Brock, but that touchdown has him down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. situation. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. New set of downs for him at the 38. Brown off the play fake. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 35 out of that one. And that will set up first and goal. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Now the give to Mixon. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now they eat up running backs. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap. Looking to throw. Gets it towards the end zone. But it's incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And now they're left with third and goal. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on coverage in this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. He's back to throw. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans now trail by just a point in the fourth. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. On 
on for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. They're out and set, first and ten. Play fake, it's love. Gets this one to Watson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. We hear about basketball on grass so much, so much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. This finds Dobbs. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Hand off here to Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of four. And it'll be first down, Packers. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Green Bay. Packers in range for a game-winning score. They're set up at the 35 now. On first and 10, here's Love. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Second and three now. Hand off, running right, Jacobs. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third down, one yard to go. Going run again with Jacobs. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Timeout taken by the defense, their second. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. So now the field goal unit runs on in a very big spot. Ball on the right hash, the distance 43 yards. That one is good! And late in the fourth, they have grabbed the lead. That's called getting his job done, Kate, drilling it right through. And now they're in position to win this game. Now it's on some of those guys who are out there with them on the kick, those defenders, to hang on to this lead to give them the win.
The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. He fields it from the eight. Finds some space, he's past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The visitors and Stefan Diggs getting set for this next offensive possession. Trailing by one score late here, Kate. Maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps him get right back into a good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. Here's first and ten from the 34. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Here he is to throw. Sends it to Diggs along the sideline. And they'll have it across midfield as he runs out. The big play nets him 17 yards. And it sets up a Houston first. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. rested on his leg, Kate, and he got the job done. And now, well, things go a specific way in OT. The next time we see him line up, it could be for the game winner. from the 30. Yeah. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Looking to throw it. He's got it. Room to run. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. So a timeout's taken, just five seconds left. And after the pause, we're going to see our last play of the game. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing now. This to win the game. Trying to lob that one in, but no luck. Man, this has been such a great game. Nobody is ready for it to end just yet. After 
four quarters. We're headed to overtime. Conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick is away here in overtime. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Green Bay offense about to get started once more. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First throw of overtime now. That's in the hands of Jones. And this is going to be a great big touchdown. The Packers need only one to take the lead. It's a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Spread the field and send them all deep, baby. All right, this might be a stupid question, Brock, but what makes that play call successful against an NFL secondary? Yeah, because four verts is good against a college secondary, a high school secondary, a Pop Warner secondary, because it burdens and stresses that defense. And if you got people that can run and you got four choices to choose from, oftentimes you'll find one to hit on. Looking to tack on the point after. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return of the 27. Houston's offense back out now, ready to go. And they brought out their kicker for a field goal, their last possession. This time they'll look to bring him out for an extra point instead. Completion. Here comes the second down call. 
round. He's got him. That's Mixon. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. It's a 31-yard play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Speaks to this guy's talent is just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. This round's rolling here on first. It was there, but it couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, when it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. To the air yet again. It's Stroud. This is complete to Schultz. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. Well, that catch right there ended up paying off one of the longest routes he's going to run. He started on one side of the field, Kate, and he made it all the way across to the other. To no point was he going to step off the gas. Uh uh. My man, though, he may be able to breathe a little oxygen after that one. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. So now, after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. It's second and goal. the gun, Stroud. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. We were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. now for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Return starts at the five. This return makes it up to the 25. Out now runs the Packer offense. Well, Brock, it only took them one play to reach the end zone last drive. They might have to work a little bit harder this time out. Get this drive started. First and ten. Love from the gun. 
He's got time here. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Jacobs. And he's brought down for a loss. Mm, 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 mm. That is teaching tape for a linebacker. Read, react, and finish. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Shotgun now for Love. He loves it up, looking deep to the right side. Well, they had a look, certainly didn't shot away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. I mean, you can see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they could focus, they could adjust quickly. But on a long-distance throw like that, a tip, well, it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be Texans football. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Makes it on the counter. get him down after he gets into the 48. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First down, Stroud. Left side into the hands of Dell. And he goes out a little short of the 40. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. taken by the defense. They're second. As they'll be left with just one more to work with here in OT. Now, as we 
see how he handles this moment. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. The kick is good. He got it. And they've taken back the lead. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. <laughs> 